Final segment of ATL Day Ones with Jarvis and Tanitra. Ooh, it is such a good, good, it just feels so good for me to just be back in the, in the chair. I'm just chilling. I'm talking <laughs> about, you know, uh, you know, what the Hawks and the Braves have got going on, the Falcons, yes, what yes. they need to do. It's just been a really, really good show, and we thank mm -hmm. you for rocking with us throughout the entire show because yes. that's what we <laughs> assume you do because you love us. You appreciate yeah. us. And, you know, because you love us and appreciate us, you know, wherever you download your podcast, here's what you do. Just go to where they do the reviews and stuff. You know how they got the little five little stars right there. You know, don't stop at one. You know, just go all the way to the right. Five stars. Mm -hmm. Just remember, go to the right, five star review, and give us a little note in there because, you know, so everybody else can figure out or find out about how great we are because that's just how we get down. Um, yeah. Because that's what we do right here on ATL Day One. But T, this is For the Culture. It is the intersection between sports, entertainment, and the culture. And sometimes, wherever the heck we want to talk about, because that's just how we get down. Now, we all know that Wakanda Forever <laughs> is the second rendition of, you know, Black Panther. You know, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm messing up my mic here. I'm, I know you I'm got excited. excited. Yeah, I got super right excited. Now. You know, yeah. I kind of, you know, I got to do like my home, like the homie, you know, uh, right. go to do the, do the move. And um, we know that Chadwick Boseman, was a uh, Black Panther with a child, you know, he was referred to in the movie. He passed away a couple of years ago, but you know, as the you know, a couple of leaks of what the characters are going to look out, look like um, have come out, and people starting to see them, and you know how, how social media, how things get start to get rolling. There was a, a young man in in Chicago who's a film critic, you know, talk explained how, and it, it ended up going viral, and he explained why uh, they should recast um, T'Challa because, you know, when you think about Spider-Man and Superman and all of that, mm -hmm. those, you, you can't kill off those characters. Those characters have lived on past yeah. the people who played those those specific characters. And, mm -hmm. and he said, if you kill off the, I mean, essentially, if you don't recast the character, that means you're killing Chad with Bozeman again. And, mm -hmm. and I, I wouldn't go that far. Right. But what I will say is that he got me with the whole part about the character is always going to live on. Yes. And we all know that most of the times that you're always going to remember the first, right? Mm -hmm. In so many situations, um, <laughs> whether good or bad. And we know that to child. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, teacher? So sorry, y'all. There's so much stuff going on in my mind, not my mind right now. I'm trying to keep the 12-year-old down and keep the grown Jarvis yeah. going. Eighth um, grade Jarvis. <laughs> yes. Stay back. I'm coming back. I'm here. Right here. Uh, so, mm -hmm. But I think that, you know, I think he really made, he made a really good point as far as the character living on. And, I, and he convinced me. I, I think that they should recast uh, T'Challa. Now, I think they need to do their homework and do their yeah. due diligence and make sure they get it right. But, you know, what say you, T? Yeah, that's a tough one. That's mm -hmm. a tough one because I do agree with his point. That is probably the most salient point I've ever heard yes. about why you bring him back along with the fact that, and no offense because the first cast was an ensemble cast, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. you had so many heavy hitters in that cast and those individuals are coming back. I get right. that, but he's still the central force. He's still the center of the story. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. difficult to go forward without the center of the story. I don't know that those other characters are strong enough as characters to kind of move the, the story over, forward. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I agree. If you're going to do it, and I'm not so sure I even am ready to see it quite honestly. Right. So I guess the emotional tie for me might still be there. But if you do, you better recast that like spot on. It has mm -hmm. to be the perfect person who may be out of like out of pocket. Mm -hmm. We love just because we love that person. Yes. Like, yeah. Ooh, I got one T. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, I got one. But before I tell you who I got in mind, tell them about. Coffee AM about what they got going on with our new friends, our new partners uh, yeah. up in up in up in Canton, Georgia. 
Yes, yes, absolutely. And listen, if you're driving through Atlanta traffic, like most of us are, especially for that morning commute, it doesn't matter if you're on the road like me at 5.30 a.m. or if you're in the Ooh. thick of it. I know, right? From 7 to 10, coffee <laughs> a.m. is what you want to invest in. It's an Atlanta-based small batch com coffee roaster, as Jarvis just mentioned. So you should definitely check it out. And it's the best small batch coffee roaster in this country, not just Atlanta, not just Georgia, but in the U.S. So listen, it's the freshest coffee, like I said, that you can get because most of the coffees are roasted and shipped same day or pretty close to it. So it's only current crop, specialty grade coffee, <laughs> and they have a huge selection from all over the world, organic, fair trade, direct trade, expertly crafted blends, espresso, flavored coffees. And for me, it's the gourmet tea because I absolutely love tea. So that's what I'm most excited about when it comes to talking coffee AM, that they really have more than just coffee available. So they're local. That's something to remember that they're roasting right in our own backyard. So go to coffeeam.com backslash locked on today and take a look at their full menu of coffees, teas, and even gifts, coffeeam.com backslash locked on and use this coupon code locked on at checkout. You'll get 15% off of your first order of coffees, teas, and gift sets. Coffee AM, again, is the best small batch coffee in America that you absolutely need to check out. And I absolutely vouch for it because I had me a big old cup this morning. Ooh, still sipping on a little bit and it keeps me going throughout the day. Now, T, yeah. the person that I had in mind, yeah. what would you think about Jamie Foxx as T'Challa. Well, you know, he played Ray Charles to to the T. Now, yeah. now I know T'Challa is a fictional character, but mm -hmm. I think Jamie Foxx can probably pull that thing off, T. What say you? Yeah, that would be a really, really good one because we're already invested and engaged in him as an actor. So mm -hmm. I believe because we have an established relationship with the actor, Jamie Foxx, Yes. We would be able to do with him the same things that we did when he was in character for characters such as Ray Charles. Right. Because I walked away from that film and literally said, oh, my God, I truly forgot that was Jamie Foxx. Yeah. And that's what that's he so and, and that's just yeah. an example of it. Indeed. But I even yeah. um, saw a movie recently that he did where it was Spider-Man. I think it was Spider-Man mm -hmm. 2, where mm -hmm. he played like the nerdiest of guys, but Spider-Man kind of took him in or took him under his wing. Right. And I was like, Jamie Foxx can just morph into anything. So, so yeah, right. I'm going to yeah. go with that. I'm going to go with that. And the only other guy I would have gone with, and forgive me because all of my This Is Us people are probably ready to choke me out right now because I can't think of my guy. But, um, you know, he would have been a good guy. Sterling K. Brown, I was thinking, I was like, there I go. Was yeah. Uh -huh. I was yeah. Sterling K. Brown would have been excellent if he had not, portrayed the character of T'Challa's half-brother's father um, right. and gotten killed off in that first episode while he was in America. So right. other than that, uh, he would, I think, would have been a great one. But yeah, I like Jamie Foxx. I think that's going to be a good look. And hopefully the Braves will win tonight because a win of game three wins them the series. They've got yes. Max Fried on the mound. And you know what he did to the Reds last week. Seven masterful innings. So we're looking for Mad Max to get it done again tonight for the Braves. They are starting the month of July hot again, four and one to start the month of July. So we may not be able to use Jarvis's mantra of undefeated, but I tell you what, we can use they winning because they still winning, just it's like we win. are here on ATL Day One. So when you stop by, we feel like it's a good look and we feel like we're winning. And when you stop by and check out, Hitting hard with John Chuckery. That's a win for you guys, too. So come back, check us out tomorrow, and we will talk Braves. And who knows? Maybe we will talk Hawks. We'll see you on the other side tomorrow. You all come back now, you hear?